2007, 8, 9, and we went to full equipment. And look, it was, once again, people, you want to tell a story like, oh, you were so right and everything was, we had all these auction facilities and we just built a really nice auction facility and, and probably the nicest one in the Midwest in a lot of ways. And we, we had a really impressive consignment auction going. And just as we were finishing that facility, we decided we didn't do that anymore. So it was a, I call it a tombstone to an ego. <laughs> a lot of people locally thought we were going broke and they weren't too far from truth. If we wouldn't have done that, we would have. But the thing that looked the worst was the thing that probably got us out the best because it was, it allowed us to focus on where we were creating the most value and where we had the most ability to scale the business, which was in the equipment and vehicles. As soon as we did that, we were able to grow the company and, and do it in a do it in a way where we were profitable and we could do it with our own with our own capital as long as we kept really focused on what we were good at and stayed in the you know in that vein. So in the course of doing that, it was pretty painful because we had to stop a lot of things that we'd worked very hard and we really built up a nice real estate practice and we had our whole auction career and that was close to 10 years we'd done consignment auctions and personal property auctions every week so that's what one of the things we locally we really people knew us as and we had to say well we just don't do that because we have to focus on what we do the very best and that's equipment vehicles mm -hmm.